here is an example of how to do side reading. Same as reading the articles on the box, you read from left to right. First thing that you have to be careful with before you're doing the side reading with any piece of music is to check the clef. Because for some reason, most of the piano students think that they always play treble clef on any types of music. Here we see it's a bass clef, so most properly you use your left hand to play the bass clef. The reason why I say most properly is because you don't always use your left hand to play bass clef. In some cases, you use your right hand to play bass clef. With this piece of music, you use your left hand to play bass clef. The next thing we see here is the time signature. You see the number 4 and 4 here. The number 4 on the top stands for 4 beats in a measure, and the 4 at the bottom means the quarter note get 1 beat. It's worth mentioning that there's no key signature to indicate you how many sharps or flats are there for this piece of music. So what you have to do is to look for the accidentals in front of the notes in each bar. The key signature is usually noted in between the time signature and the clef. Here we see a sharp in front of the note G. After checking the accidentals, let's look at the first note. First note usually indicates you how the melodies will go. And with this type of short side reading exercise, the first finger number always tells you where your hand should be placed on the piano. For example, you see the finger number 30 on A, that means your finger number 5 will be on F. Now let's look at the rhythm and count 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 in each bar. Now let's look if there is any repeated notes on the score. We see there are several A's here. For example, the first note in the first bar is an A. The note on the fourth beat of the first measure is an A as well. There are also two A's in the second measure. However, they are not quarter note anymore like in the first measure. The first A in the second measure is an eighth note, and the second A in the second measure is a half note. Now let's look at the movement of the notes. It's up and down, 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 up, up, down.